pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The lever. Strong. That's so light, I could lift it up with my finger. Oh my! But do you think you could lift up your nightstand? Don't know. Never tried it. So then go on! Ha <laughs> 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 No way! And you are so much bigger than that nightstand. But watch, I can lift this big pencil. Just look how much smaller I am. So, who's stronger, you or me? Hmm, well, I guess it's not me. The Fixies may be very small, but they are actually much stronger than humans. Yes, it's true. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? Well, who's stronger, an elephant or an ant? You think it's the elephant. Well, of course, it's so much bigger. But did you know that one ant can lift up 50 ants its own size? And an elephant? It can't even hold up one. So it turns out that for its size, an ant is much stronger than an elephant. And the same goes for fixies. Fixies are incredibly strong for their size. They can lift things that are a hundred times heavier than they are. And fixies can jump 50 times higher than their own height. If humans were as strong as fixies are, they'd be able to lift an automobile all by themselves. Yeah, Tom Thomas, it's time you built up your strength. Well, how? Start lifting dumbbells. Or if you want to, you can use my barbell. <laughs> no thanks. I'll use the dumbbells my dad has. They're in his office, I think. Oh, there's one. And where's the other one? Aha, there you are. I'll get you out of there. Come on, come on. I'm helping you here. It's stuck. All right. Move aside. I'll get it right out. What is this, glued to the floor or something? <laughs> hey, what's all the racket? Hi there, Simka. We can't get the dumbbell out from under there. Well, of course you can't. The sofa's pressing down on it. So that's what it is. And I was worried that I lost all my strength. Well, that means we have to lift up this sofa. We can't do that. It's too heavy for us. We can do it. Tom Thomas, get me your hockey stick from your room. Mm-hmm. We can't move a sofa with a hockey stick. Don't worry, you'll see. <sighs> Here, I brought it. What is it for? We're gonna use it as a lever. A lever? Well, yeah. A lever works the same way that a seesaw does, with a board resting on top of a piece called the fulcrum. But with a lever, one side is longer than the other. And that's the secret to its power. With a lever's help, it's possible to lift any weight. All you need to do is get the short arm of the lever under the load and push down on the long arm. And the longer the arm, the more weight you can lift. And that's how a lever makes people stronger. Well, can we find a fulcrum in here? Maybe this dumbbell. Can that be our fulcrum? Great idea! Now you're thinking the right way. You ready to go? Let's go! Lean on it, Tom Thomas! <laughs> Yay! It's working! <sighs> Tideesh! I'm so strong, did you see? Now watch how I lift Dad's heavy weights for you. Look, I can do it. 
<laughs> it's just like I told you. You'd be better off training with my weights. Didn't you just see me lift up the sofa? You didn't lift the sofa. The lever did. Did you ever hear the saying, knowledge is power? I've heard it. Although, some physical power won't hurt you either. So pick up your lever and go out and play some hockey. You know how built those hockey players are. about the microwave oven. It's a very special appliance that people use to heat all sorts of different foods up. Oh, wow. Is there any chance that we could get heated up here? You'll find out about that too, if you'll pay attention, of course. Whoa! Got it? Now listen carefully. I'm listening, I'm listening. Of course, young fixies go to school just like human kids. But their parents teach them a lot of important lessons, too. Fixie parents take their kids on tours of all sorts of different devices and teach them what Fixies can do to keep them working properly. They like to show them how the computers or televisions or gaming systems work, or any one of the many appliances they take care of inside of the kitchen, like the stove. Every once in a while, a new device appears in the house, something that the Fixies have never dealt with before. To learn how this new thing works, the Fixies gather together and read the instructions that the humans keep printing up, but almost never seem to take the time to read for themselves. And so now it's time to look at the magnetron. That's what emits the microwaves. Oh, and so the food absorbs the microwaves, and that's what heats it up. That's right. And now, look carefully to your left. Hooray! Freedom! Oh, Tom Thomas! What do you say? Want to watch cartoons? I can't. I need to do my homework. Then just do it quickly. For some reason, whenever I start doing homework, I always get hungry for some food. Then just eat faster! No. The faster I eat, the sooner I'll have to start doing my homework. Mmm, you already got cold. I need to go warm it up. One minute should be enough. These aren't just ordinary wires. These are for... Oh! Oh! Like it might be an overload. The microwave might burn out. Then we better run out of here. What do you mean run? We need we need to save this microwave. with the microwave. It looks like it just broke. Who cares if it broke? What matters is that Simka and Masya aren't broken. Look, there's no one here. <laughs> of course not. We were <coughs> behind the wall. You wouldn't believe what happened in there. Oh, oh there you go. 
Tom Thomas, why did you put that fork into the microwave? Why not? You mean I'm not allowed? Remember, never put any metal objects into a microwave. If you put forks or spoons in a microwave, you can burn it out. And then not even a fixie will be able to fix it. Even a thin metal border on a plate can cause serious problems. Also, never warm up food in sealed packages or bottles inside a microwave. And one last thing, don't even think of cooking eggs in their shells in there. They'll just explode. Sorry, I didn't know any of that. Nolik, and what were you thinking? Why didn't you warn Tom Thomas about this? Hmm? Oh, I, uh... Oh, today you skipped school. And now you don't know it either. Nolik, where are you going? I'm talking to you. Huh, where else? I gotta go study all about microwaves. And I'll go do my homework now. But first you'll sit down and eat for a while, right? No, I'm not gonna eat food. First, I'll go and play some games for an hour or so. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.